Question 2. 2x plus 4 is less than or equal to x plus 1. So again, we're just going to solve this like an equation, right? Where if you add something to one side, you must add it to the other. If you divide by 4 on one side, you divide by 4 on the other and so on. Whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. So it's just like an equation. So, and again, we've got x's and numbers on both sides. Just like with equations, you can pick any one of those uh, uh, numbers, quantities, and and uh, move to, and subtract. Right. So you could subtract four from both sides. You could subtract x from both sides. You could subtract two x from both sides. It doesn't matter. I'm going to subtract x from both sides and see what happens. Now, the, the, again, if you want to, you could subtract. Um, four from both sides, and that would also be correct at the beginning. And you, but as long, as, but you, if you do, if you just do the do a sub, um, do the same thing to both sides, you'll end up with the same answer. Anyhow, two x minus x gives us x, so we have x plus four less than or equal to, and then we just have one, right? Now, what should we do? Well, we want to get x all by itself, so we want to isolate the missing number, right? 4 is being added. So to undo adding 4, what do we do? Subtract 4, right? And here we have x is less than or equal to, and 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Okay, x is less than or equal to negative 3. Now if you had it subtracted 4 from both sides at the beginning, you would have got 2x is less than or equal to x minus 3. And then you might decide to, and a good idea here is to get x's on one side, numbers on the other. So you want to get rid of that x and leave the negative 3 on its own here. So how would you get rid of that x term there? Would you subtract it, right? Subtract from both sides. 2x minus x, that's like 2x minus 1x. What does that give? That gives 1x or x, right? Okay. Now, the other thing that we're touching on with this is um, we, when you're subtracting from both sides, the inequality stays in the same direction. Okay. The inequality stays in the same direction when you add or subtract from both sides, and when you divide by a positive. It's only when you divide by a negative that it changes direction. Okay. And just to show you that, I want to I want to go over this. If you have um, for example, we know that negative 10 is less than 20, right? So if you write that out, four times, okay? What I want you to do is add 2 to both sides and see what you get. Then subtract 2 from both sides, okay? then I want you to divide both sides by 2 and then divide both sides by a negative number, right? We'll divide both sides by negative 2, right? So if we add 2 to both sides, negative 10 plus 2 gives negative 8. 20 plus 2 gives 22. What direction should the inequality go? Negative 8 is less than 22, isn't it? So the the inequality stayed in the same direction, right? If I subtract 2 from both sides, negative 10 minus 2 is negative 12. What's 20 minus 2? It's 18. Which of these is less, which is more? Negative 12 is less than 18. See that? By the way, the point goes beside the lesser number and the gap goes beside the bigger number, because a gap is bigger than a point. Negative 10 greater than or divided by 2, what does that give? Negative 5, right? What's 20 divided by 2? 10. Which is less? Negative 5 is less. The point goes there and the gap goes here by the bigger number, right? So when I add 2 to both sides, the inequality stays the same direction. When I subtract from both sides, the inequality stays the same direction. When I divide by a positive, the inequality stays in the same direction. But what happens when we divide by a negative? 
negative 10 over negative 2 positive number isn't it positive what positive 5 this time what's 20 over negative 2 what does this one become this one becomes, uh, that's a positive over negative, so that becomes a negative number, doesn't it? Negative 10, right? Which is bigger now? Which, how should the inequality sign go this time? 5 is greater than negative 10, isn't it? So when we divide by a negative, you can clearly see that we need to change the direction of the inequality sign. So the rule is, if we divide by a negative we need to change direction and that's the only time only when you divide by a negative if you divide by a negative change direction all the other times are fine adding adding things to both sides subtracting things from both sides dividing by a positive that's fine that's th they all stay the same direction it's just when we divide by a negative that's when we change direction. Dividing by a negative. Okay, so watch out for that. And we'll reference this as we go through the problems. So in any case, we just um, ended up with uh, x is less than or equal to negative 3 on this, and now we have to graph it on a number line. So, give me a number that is in fact less than negative 3. What's less than negative 3? Is negative 2 less than negative 3? Is 2 less than negative 3? Is 4 less than negative 3? No. What is? How about negative 9? That's less than negative 3, isn't it? Right? How about um, negative 7? That's also less than negative 3. How about negative 5? What else? Negative 4, isn't it? How about negative 2? No, negative 3 is lesser than negative 2. It's, it's a lesser number. It's, it's, it's lower, right? So, um, not negative 2, but so all these numbers is what we're talking about. All these numbers, and in this direction, are less than negative 3. And how lesser can we go? Can we go to negative 1,000? Yeah. Can we go to negative a million? We can, right? So we can go way, way, way off in towards very, uh, very big negative numbers or very uh, uh, large negative numbers. So, um, and and this goes towards negative infinity, doesn't it? All the way towards negative infinity, right? And um, if we look at this also, we've got x is less than or equal to negative three. Okay. So x could also be equal to negative 3. So that means that negative 3 is part of the solution. And that means we're going to use our square brackets. Okay? Because negative 3 will be included in the solution. So we'll put a square bracket, whoops, square bracket above the negative 3 like that. Okay? In fact, let me like make that a little bit clearer. Should have a square bracket here. And that's above negative three. Okay.